uh, Mr. Weinstein, uh, the defendant, was uh, sentenced by Judge Lynch in this L.A. Uh, prosecution. Um, he was convicted of three felonies involving Jane Doe one. He has been sentenced to consecutive sentences for the three felonies. All of my three clients here wanted to be able to uh, give a victim impact statement today at the sentence, uh, at the sentencing hearing. Um, I argued to the judge more than a week ago that the California Constitution uh, provides and, in fact, requires that victims be able to give a victim impact statement at a sentencing hearing. Uh, the court denied my request, um, and I, on Tuesday of this week, filed a petition for mandamus with the California Court of Appeals. Uh, that's a very important petition. The court has not yet uh, decided the issue of the case. The issue is, did they have a right under the California Constitution to be able to speak at the sentencing even though there was no conviction for those three victims? You may say, well, isn't it too late he was sentenced today? It's never too late to argue or to assert a constitutional right that we think has been violated. And in our opinion, that's clear. So we'll see, and it has an impact on thousands of victims in the future. If they are brave enough to testify before a grand jury, and then for some to testify in a court of law, to speak to law enforcement, to spend hours and hours and hours to produce text messages, all kinds of social media interactions, to have their friends interviewed, sometimes family members interviewed, others interviewed, they should have a right to speak their piece and to say how they have been harmed by the defendant in a case. In any case, I'm happy about the sentence today. Although my clients were silenced, they could not come today. They live, one lives on the East Coast, two live in other countries, one in Europe and another in another country that is not Europe. I've spoken to all of them prior to the sentencing hearing, they all wish to speak. If as and when the Court of Appeals decides on our writ, at least two of them are going to come to Los Angeles and they're going to speak 